All right, let's uh, take a look at uh, other markets now. We see uh, a Bitcoin there doing uh, pretty well at this hour. We see the market cap by $1.75 trillion. It's up 1.45%. Uh, 24-hour volume traded in Bitcoin. And the total uh, crypto space, that's altcoins plus Bitcoin, $89.23 billion. That's up about 22.38%. Bitcoin dominance sitting there at 42.64%. Uh, and we see uh, uh, Bitcoin this morning now, it's $39,405. It's up by one point. Uh, four six percent. We see Bitcoin price formed a, a base above the thirty eight thousand level and started a steady increase above the thirty nine thousand five hundred fifty uh, dollar resistance level. And that's the hourly, the hundred hourly moving, uh, simple moving average. Open the doors for a move above the forty thousand. Uh, resistance with bulls uh, trying to take control there. And we see Ethereum there sitting at $2,641, up 3.44%. Uh, uh, that's uh, $15.17 billion traded in Ethereum. And we see uh, most of these uh, coins all in the green at this point, top odds by market cap. It's uh, mostly uh, green on that counter. We see the uh, crypto market looking uh, really good and bullish this morning. Uh, let's bring in uh, Solomon Amunde now, uh, digital market analyst. Hello, Solomon. Yeah, good morning, Marty. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Solomon. Well, quite an interesting uh, trade we're seeing earlier at about 3 a.m. We saw Bitcoin spiked above uh, 41,500, then dumped right back to 39,000, liquidating over $200 million in shorts. Uh, that's a lot of manipulation. Yeah, yeah, indeed. That, that's a whole lot of manipulation. I mean, it's not really the first time we've seen this happening, but it's usually expected. That's why for most traders, it's good to not keep a very tight stop loss in your trade. But what we are still expecting Bitcoin to go at 41,500 again, and we're still expecting it to hopefully hit 45,000 this week. That's why the, 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 the shorting and longing is not for kids in that market. And we see uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg says NFTs are coming soon to, to Instagram. Quite interesting. How do you see this impacting uh, the NFT space? It, it's a very positive news for the NFT space, especially since we've seen so many new blockchain focus on NFT and we've been seeing a steady increase in volume. We, we've hit almost about $2 billion in terms of NFT traded volume. So in terms of reaching the vast community that has not yet understood what NFTs are, I think um, Instagram moves to bring NFTs to Instagram is a really, really perfect move, if you ask me. Long term and short term, it's really, really welcome. But I'm wondering how that's going to work. Is it that you could just upload your JPEG NFT on Instagram and maybe sell it? Okay, so what, what they are looking at is, uh, one, you'll be able to mint NFTs, and you'll be able to also buy and sell those NFTs on Instagram which I 100% believe we have the technical manpower to be able to pull that off. All right. Well, we'll keep uh, watching and see how that plays out. Thank you so much, uh, Solomon Munde, uh, digital market analyst right there. All right. Now, let's uh, look at the top five. Again, as uh, we see Wave stopping that counter to $30.96 uh, per coin. It's up 18.41%. Uh, we see GRT there uh, up 17.36%. It's seen double-digit gains uh, this morning. The top five gains. We see uh, basic attention token there at 82 cents. It's up 14.02%. And uh, Phantom, Phantom was in the uh, loser's counter yesterday, but now it's up about 9.52%, trading at $1.16. And we see uh, CBX there up 9.29%. And uh, top losers, uh, we see it's uh, single-digit losses with uh, Rune uh, leading that counter at, uh, down about 6.68%. And we see uh, PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap has uh, been on decline for a while now. It's uh, trading at $5.45 per coin down about 3.41%. Well, it's still uh, extreme fear in the market, but it's looking quite uh, green right about now.